Hello students, I am Dr. Amit Bhatnagar, working as Senior Research Officer in the Department of Agronomy at GB Panth, University of Agriculture and Technology, Panthagar, Uttarakhand. So there is a confusion between percent solution and PPM solution and how to make this percent and PPM solution and where percent solution are used and where PPM solution are used, this is also confusion. So first, what is the difference between percent and PPM? First understand it and where this solution are made and how these solution are made we will discuss in this lecture so please watch this lecture completely then you can make a clear cut idea about the difference between percent and ppm solution when we talk about the percent percent cent means 100 so percent means out of 100 so 1 percent 1 percent that is uh, uh, abbreviated as this symbol is equal to 1 out of 100 then it is said to be 1 percent if it is 2 percent it means 2 out of 100 so 1 out of 100 means 1 upon 100 so this is the meaning of 1 percent anything maybe solution or any weight or anything else so 1 percent means 1 upon 100 if it is 2 percent it means 2 upon 100 3 percent means 3 upon 100 okay when we make the solution of this 1% solution of anything, if it has mass, then it 1% uh, we make 1% solution in water. In water. So, how we can make and 1% solution of which maybe urea, maybe zinc sulfate, what? Suppose we want to make 1% urea solution. Urea. Urea solution in water so it means one gram one gram urea out of it is made in water so 100 gram water so if we dissolve one gram urea in 100 gram water then it is said to be one percent solution but it is made in liter solutions are made in liter one liter 10 liter 200 liter 500 liter 1000 liter so it may be written as 1 gram okay upon 100 gram it is water if it is multiplied by 10 then it is 1000 gram water okay so we multiplied both numerator and denominator by 10 to make in 1000 gram our interest is in 1000 gram is that because in 1 liter there are 1000 gram okay so we can rewrite it as 1 liter water. So if we dissolve, now this is 10 gram. So if we dissolve 10 gram urea in 1 liter of water, then it is 1% solution. So it means 1% urea, now it is 1% urea solution is made by dissolving 10 gram urea in 1 liter of water per liter water so this is the meaning of 1% suppose we want to make 100 oh, sorry x percent suppose this is the x percent of anything then it is multiplied by 10 x into 10 then it is gram per liter water so this is the a formula of percent solution I hope it would be clear to you uh, that uh, if you want to make X percent solution then multiply this by 10 and dissolve in 1 liter water similarly if we want to make 0.5 percent zinc sulfate it is commonly used 2 percent urea is commonly used similarly if it is 0.5 percent zinc sulfate solution Simple is that this is multiplied by 10. Now it is in gram, then per liter water. So it means 5 gram zinc sulfate is dissolved in 1 liter water. Then it is 0.5 percent solution. Suppose uh, now we want to make in 100 liter water. So simple calculation is that in 1 liter water, how much zinc sulfate is required? 5 gram zinc sulfate is required. 
सो यू वॉन्ट टू मेक इन सपोज हंड्रेड लीटर वाटर देन इट इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाई हंड्रेड दैट इज फाइव हंड्रेड ग्राम सो डिजॉल्व फाइव हंड्रेड ग्राम जिंक सल्फेट इन हंड्रेड लीटर वाटर सो दिस इज द वे हाउ वी कैन मेक सपोज वी वॉन्ट टू मेक इन फाइव हंड्रेड लीटर वाटर अवर रिक्वायरमेंट इज सपोज फाइव हंड्रेड लीटर वाटर देन इन वन लीटर फाइव ग्राम सो इन फाइव हंड्रेड लीटर ग्राम मल्टीप्लाइड बाई देन इट इज टू थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड ग्राम दैट इज इन के जी टू पॉइंट फाइव के जी जिंक सल्फेट डिजॉल्व इन फाइव हंड्रेड लीटर वाटर सो इट इज परसेंट सोल्यूशन सो परसेंट सोल्यूशन आर मेड बाई मल्टीप्लाइंग दैट वैल्यू बाई टेन दैट इज द ग्राम एंड डिजॉल्व इन वन लीटर वाटर सो दिस इज द वे सपोज वी वॉन्ट टू मेक सपोज फोर परसेंट सोल्यूशन ऑफ एनी साल्ट सपोज इट इज टेबल साल्ट और सोडियम साल्ट तो फोर देन इट इज फोर परसेंट सो इट इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन देन इट इज इन ग्राम देन पर लीटर सो इट इज फोर्टी ग्राम पर लीटर सो दिस इज द वे हाउ कैन वी कैन मेक दिस परसेंट सोल्यूशन सपोज वी वॉन्ट टू मेक टेन परसेंट शुगर सोल्यूशन सपोज टेन परसेंट शुगर सोल्यूशन तो हाउ टू मेक दिस टेन परसेंट शुगर सोल्यूशन दिस टेन इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन दिस इज द कन्वर्जन फैक्टर टेन दैट इज दंड्रेड ग्राम तो हंड्रेड ग्राम शुगर इज डिजॉल्व इन पर लीटर वाटर Similarly, we want to make फाइव परसेंट साल्ट सोल्यूशन साल्ट सोल्यूशन फाइव परसेंट साल्ट सोल्यूशन देन इज फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टेन दैट इज फिफ्टी ग्राम साल्ट इज डिजॉल्व इन पर लीटर वाटर दिस इज वाटर सो दिस इज द वे हाउ वी कैन मेक द परसेंट सोल्यूशन ना अनदर इज पीपीएम सोल्यूशन PPM is parts per million, and PPM solution is very very less amount is required. Very less amount is required. Then we make PPM solution. So PPM solution are generally used for the hormones. When we uh, go for hormone application for gibberellic acid uh, application or auxin application, then we make PPM solution. So PPM solution is used for those. Uh, compounds or those material which is required in very less amount so what is ppm first understand so ppm solution is used is used for those material which are required in very less amount so generally these are used for the hormone application so what is the meaning of ppm ppm means parts per million per million so this is the p p m now what is million in indian uh, uh, mathematics or in indian uh, condition we use uh, ikai dahai saikda hazar 10000 lakh 10 lakh crore 10 crore arab 10 arab kharab but in international system it is one stands 100 thousands 10 thousands million 10 millions so what is million so this is the confusion so what is million so in 1 million 1 million is equal to 10 lakh so it is 1 million is equal to 10 lakh so remember this what is million so 1 million equal to 10 lakh or we can say it is 10 million 10 million is equal to 100 lakh so we multiplied by 10 both side and 100 lakh is equal to 1 crore so in 1 crore there are 10 million this is the way or 1 million is equal to 10 lakh or we can say it is 1 uh, crore 1 crore 10 million is equal to 1 crore okay so this is the relationship so it is parts per million so it means it is it is 1 ppm so it is 1 ppm then means 1 uh, out of 1 million or we can say it is 1 out of 10 lakh or we can rewrite it as 1 upon 10 lakh or it may be written as 1 upon 10 lakh means 10 multiplied by 1 lakh 
कई दहाई सैकड़ा हजार दस हजार लाख ओके सो इजिकल टू वन अपॉन टेन टू पावर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सो वन पी पी एम इजिकल टू वन अपॉन यू कैन राइट एज वन पी पी एम इजिकल टू वन अपॉन टेन टू पावर सिक्स एंड सपोज यू वॉन्ट टू मेक वन पी पी एम सोल्यूशन ऑफ जिब्रेलिक एसिड सपोज इट इज इट इज यूज फॉर द वेरी लेस अमाउंट मेटीरियल सपोज अवर सोल्यूशन इज वन पी पी एम जिब्रेलिक एसिड सो इट मीन्स वन ग्राम जिब्रेलिक एसिड डिवाइडेड बाई टेन टू पावर सिक्स ग्राम वाटर बिकॉज इट इज वन अपॉन टेन टू पावर सिक्स सो इफ इट इज इन ग्राम सो इट इज ऑल्सो इन ग्राम सो इट इज वन ग्राम जिब्रेलिक एसिड इज डिजोल्व इन टेन टू पावर सिक्स ग्राम वाटर Now it is not clear. What is 10 to power 6 gram? So 1 gram gibberellic acid is very clear. Weigh 1 gram gibberellic acid and dissolve in 10 to power 6 gram water. Okay. So 1 liter water. 1 liter water is equal to 1000 gram water. 1000 means 10 to power 3 gram water. So it means it is. It can be rewrite as 1 gram. Gibberellic acid divided by now it is divided by ten to power three ten uh, to power three then it is ten to power three liter. It is not clear. So now look here one liter water. Now it is multiplied by ten to power three both side then ten to power three liter is equal to ten to power three into ten to power three gram water. हमने क्या किया दोनों तरफ 10 टू पावर 3 से मल्टीप्लाई कर दिया रिलेशनशिप को देखने के लिए तो 10 टू पावर 3 लीटर वाटर इजिकल टू 10 टू पावर 6 ग्राम वाटर सो इट मींस 10 टू पावर 6 ग्राम इजिकल टू 10 टू पावर 3 लीटर ओके सो नाउ इट इज वन इट मींस डिजोल्व वन ग्राम जिब्रेलिक एसिड इन 10 टू पावर 3 लीटर 10 टू पावर 3 लीटर मीन्स वन थाउजेंड इट इट मीन्स इट इज वन थाउजेंड लीटर टेन टू पावर थ्री मीन्स so it is very difficult to correct 1000 liter and dissolve 1 gram so now it is reduced how it is reduced so 1 gram can be written as 1000 mg gibberellic acid divided by 1000 liter water now one it is 1 mg per liter water so dissolved 1 gram gibberellic acid in 1 liter water then it is 1 ppm solution so now it is clear that 1 ppm 1 ppm is equal to 1 mg per liter water so this is the way how we can weigh 1 ppm suppose it is 2 ppm suppose uh, uh, we want to make 2 uh, ppm नेपथलिन एसिटिक एसिड सॉल्यूशन अवर रिक्वायरमेंट इज टू पी पी एम एन ए ए नेपथलिन एसिटिक एसिड इट इज हारमोन हाउ टू मेक सिंपल इज डिजोल्व टू मिलीग्राम एन ए ए इन वन लीटर वाटर सपोज अवर रिक्वायरमेंट इज टेन लीटर देन इट इज ट्वेंटी मिलीग्राम रिक्वायरमेंट इज हंड्रेड लीटर देन टू हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम नेपथलिन एसिटिक एसिड इन टू हंड्रेड लीटर वाटर Well, you want to make five ppm naphthalene acetic acid. Then it is five milligram naphthalene acetic acid per liter water. So this is the way. Suppose you want to make percent. Percent is different. If we want to make five percent naphthalene acetic acid solution, then it is five multiplied by ten. Now it is gram. Okay. So it is fifty gram. NaA is dissolved in one liter water. So this is the difference in ppm and uh, percent solution. So we can say it is one percent is equal to now it is one percent is equal to one multiplied by ten gram per liter. So this is the difference in. percent and ppm solution so ppm is very less amount 
so it is ppm is used for those compounds which are required in very less amount like hormones gibberellic acid nathrin acetic acid and percent is used for those compound which required in uh, kg per hectare okay for example uh, urea 2% solution zinc sulfate 0.5% solution so ppm solution is made by dissolving 1 mg in 1 liter water and 1% solution is made by dissolving 10 g in liter per water so look here it is gram and it is milligram it is only one but it is multiplied by 10 so this is the key point you should remember so 1% dissolving in gram how much multiplied by 10 and it is in gram only milligram so this is the way how we can uh, calculate the percent and the ppm solution and one example for the more uh, for clarity suppose uh, we want to make uh, a urea solution for example and to make urea okay and want to uh, one uh, want to make uh, suppose 3 percent urea solution and another want to make a 3 ppm solution so in 3 percent means 3 multiplied by 10 that is 30 gram urea is dissolved in one liter water so multiplied by 10 then it is in gram and 3 ppm means 3 milligram it is very simple 3 milligram urea is dissolved it is also in this is urea also so 3 milligram urea is dissolved in one liter water so this is the difference in ppm and percent solution and ppm solutions are used for those compounds which are required in very less amount because it is in milligram per liter water while it is gram per liter water and the difference in gram and milligram is 1000 so that's why uh, we use percent for high quantity material and ppm for uh, material which are required in less quantity thank you very much